who says, you don't want to do a thesis on 15th century Northern Renaissance, you want to do a thesis on English art of the 18th century. So he said to me, so he gave me some possibilities. And the one that appealed to me the most was um, to work on Hogarth. So I did um, a thesis on Hogarth into 18th century literature, and I related Hogarth to Henry Fielding, which is Friend and it's sort of like you know art trying to become novels, um, which is what Hogarth was trying to do. And um, of course, in my um, arrogance as a, uh, a student, I criticized Hogarth and said, "Well, this is a great idea he has, but he's still using a kind of rococo style, which doesn't quite have the, the oomph that you know he wants to give um, the prince." So therefore, you know, these are not total successes. I mean, the arrogance of you know, the kids is just amazing. So, so that was my first um, experience. And then uh, when I uh, uh, finished um, my undergraduate work, uh, this is the 1950s, and what did you do in the 1950s? You got married, you had children. Um, and so that's what I did. And then as soon as my children started, uh, school, I tossed the coin, should I go on in art history, should I go on in studio and see if I could really become an artist having, you know, um, drawn and painted, you know, since I was, before I could walk or talk, according to my parents. So, um, I, um, and, and I tossed, I really did, I tossed a coin and it came up to studio, and so I went to Tyler School of Art eventually, and um, I had to take some undergraduate courses before I could even apply for the MFA program. And um, they put me in a printmaking class. And I have to tell you that I just simply fell in love with printmaking. There was just no other way to describe it. And the first print I made, of course, is you always make a dry point. That's the, how you're introduced to printmaking in the traditional courses, which maybe, you know, now maybe you go on the on an Epson and then they digital print these days is your first print. And in those days you did a dry point. So I did this dry point and I you know, really scratched away and then it came to printing it. And you know, so I inked up the plate and I wiped the plate carefully. I wiped that plate so well that when it printed, there was nothing on it. <laughs> so you learn from your mistakes. And uh, I had a wonderful experience at Tyler making prints. And it was, um, I think, because I come from a background uh, that sort of literary, um, you know, the connection of prints to uh, the greater world out there. Um, and, and by this time, it's the 1960s. And of course, uh, the 1960s is the great era of minimalism, um, art edge abstraction, you know, art for art's sake. And I think the, that one of the attractions printmaking for me was that I could bring the world into my prints so that my early prints had to do with things like you know, the Vietnam War and hypocritical politics and um, stuff like that. Um, so that's actually how I became involved. Then I finished my MFA and um, at that time um, uh, with my husband, uh, we went to Washington uh, for a year uh, as it turned out. And when I came back, um, I got a, it was a wonderful year for me because I, I knew we were only going to be there for a year. I just finished my degree. Um, my children were in school. I, I made prints all day and, and all night. And um, I, I, I went and got into my first shows and the Library of Congress gave me a prize for a print that I did, so it was a great year. I came back and I offered to become a faculty member at Beaver College. And the reason I'm... Um, describing this in so much detail that again, it involved me in prints. I mean, I was making prints, but the reason that they needed a printmaker at Beaver College was because Ruth Fine had been teaching printmaking, and many of you know who Ruth Fine is. Um, she became a, a curator uh, at the National Gallery, and she's done these magnificent books about um, 20th century printmaking. Um, she was leaving because she had brought a class on to Rosenwald, um, Lessing Ro Rosenwald's collection. Lessing Rosenwald fell in love with her as a, as a curator, a print person, and he hired her away from Beaver College, and so I got to teach it at Beaver College, and um, that's how I became involved in, in teaching printmaking. 